Hi, I'm Chris Okersey and I'm with the information website smartirrigation.com and today we're going to show you how to set hunter spray nozzles. Hunter makes two types of spray nozzles, fixed pattern and variable arc. And if you need more information on nozzles or some information on how to select the right nozzle, check out our information website at smartirrigation.com. We have an article on nozzle selection and we will leave a link in the description on this video. Here we have a Hunter fixed pattern spray nozzle that needs adjustment. So to lift it up, you can either use your fingernails if you have them, or you can use a flathead screwdriver. So we want to lift it up. Now that I have it up, you can see the parts of the spray head. You have the body, the stem or the riser, and the nozzle. And the first thing you want to check is that the nozzle is tight. So we go clockwise to tighten the nozzle. It was a little loose there. Never set ahead by loosening the nozzle because it won't stay like that. So we tighten the nozzle, first thing we do, and then you can grab the stem or the riser and you can position it in the direction you want by using your hand and turning. It should ratchet, a ratcheting sound. As we're adjusting, you can see the direction it's going to shoot by this pattern here. And uh, the type of nozzle is, is a little hard to see on these, but it says SS, which stands for a side strip. So it's going to shoot a narrow distance forward and quite a long distance to the right and the left. And then this one, it says 530. So we're going to get five distance forward, uh, ideally, and 15 feet on each side of it. Remember, this is a fixed pattern spray nozzle, so you cannot change the arc left or right or the size that it goes to the left or right. It'll only do what it was designed to do. The only way you can adjust is by turning the stem. And another rule to remember is to never use a sharp tool on these stems because you will scratch the riser and it will damage the seal as it goes up and down over the years and reduce the lifespan of the head. Now that we've set it dry or rough set, we'll have to turn the water on to fine tune it or if we need to adjust the distance of throw, we'll need the water on for that as well. Now that we've turned it on, we can fine tune it by turning on the stem. The last step of setting it dry can be skipped. We just like to set it dry so we don't get wet. And there you go. Now it's perfectly in line with the concrete. So the spray nozzle comes factory preset at full distance. And if you want to reduce the distance, you can use a flathead screwdriver to go clockwise on this adjustment screw at the top. And that will reduce the distance of throw. It's better to select the right size nozzle than to adjust it too much because it messes up the spray pattern and it's not as efficient. You'll see their droplets are getting really big and that could be wasteful. So always better to choose the exact right size nozzle and distance if possible. Now that we've adjusted this fixed pattern spray nozzle, we're going to show you how to set an adjustable Hunter spray nozzle. Here we have an adjustable arc nozzle by Hunter. And the reason why we've chose adjustable arc is because in this area, a 90 won't work or a 180 won't work from the shape of the lawn here. So the best is an adjustable arc because you can adjust any, any variation of arc that you want. Just like before, the first thing we do is we pull up the spray and we make sure the nozzle is tight by turning it clockwise. Hunter adjustable spray nozzles are right stop, which means you set the right stop first. So the first thing you do is you turn this cl clockwise till it stops, and then you have a dot here. So you want to turn the stem to the right stop where you want it to stop along the line. And then you can dial the left stop in 
just like you're dialing a camera to the left. And you can look at the orifice there and you'll see it's shooting this way and it's shooting this way. Now that the water's on, we can fine tune it and you can skip the previous step of dry setting if you want. We just do it to save us from getting wet. So you make sure that you got the right stop set first by turning on the stem. And then you can dial in the left stop with the nozzle and that does it and just like before you can set the distance or radius with a flathead screwdriver so you can turn it down by going clockwise or turn it back to factory preset by counterclockwise so there you have it you now know how to set the hunter adjustable spray nozzle and the fixed pattern spray nozzle and if you'd like any more irrigation tips Please check out our website at smartirrigation.com and remember to like and subscribe.